transforming from a working mom to a stay at home mom has been the hardest decision I have one of the hardest decisions I have had to make in my marriage life welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here i am Baginals, and here we find the balance i am a wife a man and a boss and on this channel we talk about motherhood i do lifestyle work children marriage and i've been doing everything around that so if you are new and you're seeing my face for the very first time hi welcome thank you for clicking i appreciate you and if you are a returning subscriber hi love hi love hi love how you doing? I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're doing amazing. In this video, I'd like to share the process, my process of transforming from a stay, from a working mom to a stay-at-home mom. Because I know it is not easy. It is not easy. This is why I'm trying to share this, so that I can help someone out there, a mom who is going through the same phase. And you're finding it hard. You're finding it hard because it is very hard. So I want to share my experiences, the steps that I took, what, what I ended up doing. As you see in the title, you guys, I really want to share about the process that I had to take to in order to settle in, to settle in because I have now been um, a stay-at-home mom for about okay because I was on and off like trying to go and work because I needed to stabilize. So I think let me just tell you the whole the whole story so that you can get like so that you can find where you can fit like if you're in that process so this whole thing of me not working started by started of course the kids of course as moms you people sacrifice a lot and of course in a family who is to sub who is supposed to su su sacrifice work of course it's a mom it's it's on uh it's rare for a husband to live their job or their work because they're going to take care of the kids at home. I think the percentage, okay, here in Uganda or in Africa, I think the percentage is really low. Maybe people in the Western world, maybe they, they have a, they have stay-at-home dads, but here it is not so common. Okay, they are there, but not as moms. So it is usually the mom who is supposed to leave work and settle in with the kids. So. It all started with the maids issues, you know. I I gave birth to my kids like they are like eight months apart. Eight months apart. So which means they need my attention. And yes, I tried to chip in, like get a maid, get maids, look for good maids. And it didn't really work out. And in all that process, that process of course when you are working mom you are you're working but you're also thinking about the kids at home so i kept thinking how are these kids doing but because i wanted to work as well i kept telling myself they'll be fine they will handle the maid will work i'll look for another maid i tried all those things guys i tried to look for good maids to try to increase on the salary to try generally i tried but then at some point i was like is it really worth it so that aside, um, also sometimes why it, why it is hard for us to accept to be stay at home moms is because of home, like family, like at home. You see the income, how much is my husband earning? How how is my money helping at at home in the family? First of all, before I before I even go there, as 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 women as um, as women who are working we always like i have i need to have my own money that only that having your own independence also it's hard to let go like you know i know at the end of the month i'm going to get this amount of money and it is mine 
I can be able to do my own things without asking for, my, for permission from my husband, like, honey, I need money to do this. Honey, I need money to do my hair. So that independence, being that independent is really good. And but when you think of leaving your job to stay at home, you think about that point and you're like, mm -mm, I'm not about to leave my job and be the one asking for money all the time. That thing was really hard for me. So, also another thing is, if you look at if you look at family and you're like, my the money that I work, that I make, the money that I, that I make, helps at home. For example, you have to put resources resources together. You have to help your husband here and there. Let me say you have to pay for electricity. You pay for this. You know, when you're working, of course, you have to chip in somewhere. You don't leave everything for the man. So if you look at that aspect and you're like, we as a family, we need this money, so I need to, to keep my job. Also, that can really stop you from not want, can, on, also that stops you from wanting to be a stay-at-home mom because you need money for the family. Now, for me, what helped me to fit in, first of all, we really argued, we, we really had a hard time to, I, First of all, for me, I didn't find people like, how can I be there and tell a person? But I started, I graduated, and I am now a stay at home mom. Like, it doesn't sound okay. To me, it was like, no, 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 no. And a person like me, I've been working all my life. I started working in my form four back. That is when I started working. I started working, I worked in my form four back. Form six, I got a job, I was working. Throughout campus, as I was working, my husband found me when I was working. So I entered marriage when I was working. So to tell me that I leave work, I leave my job to stay at home and take care of kids. Generally, I understand my fellow women. It does not adapt. It does not make sense to you at that moment. So I actually struggled with all, with all those things. I'm like, I don't know how, you know, even you know, like saying that I am working here, it brings. It adds something on you, like, you feel like you're meditating life. So I was like, how am I going to be telling people about my stay-at-home mom? Why I don't work? You get. So all that was in my head. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I cannot leave my work to work, to stay at home. But uh, first of all, this suggestion was brought by my husband. And at this point, at this point, I thank God he had gotten a better job, a better paying job, and you could really, when I was calculating at this point, my money was not doing anything, it was actually for me, because you could take care of everything, it's not like I was bringing in a lot of financial support in the family, no, you were taking care of everything, so, I know, one thing is, if your husband can really take care of the family, he can settle everything, it be, I think there, it becomes easy for you to settle. But if it is not, then it becomes hard. So for me, my husband like had gotten a job that is stable, what what. So it helps me to fit in. And yeah, also when my husband was telling me at first, I was like, no, Mister, I cannot. So we went, we were, we were back and forth, back and forth, arguing. I was like, no, I cannot leave. I was like, at some point, he reached a point. I was like, all right. So he left me, you guys, he left me to make this decision alone. So I also, also, a mom out there and you're going through this phase, I think, I pray that your husband can give you that time to think on your own. Like for him not to take, to put you on pressure, some, some, mom do, some, parents, some moms don't want to leave their work because also the pressure from the husband. I wish these husbands can let us do that, make the decision on our own, like what my, my husband did. He left me, like, because whenever you could mention about, mention about leaving work, I would be mad, we would get into an argument. He reached a point and he left me. So when he left me, I had to make this decision by myself. You understand? By myself. So when it comes out of you and you were on things and you're like, ah, he has the money, he can take care of me. Ah, my taking care of my common, my common, like my my personal money. You find way of dealing, a way of dealing with it. Then that will help you a lot. 
the only thing what I know about transforming is you need to make this decision yourself. You need to decide you as you as a mom. You like me as a mom have decided because me had uh, when my when my boy made three years, I stopped working. When I stopped working, I was still not there yet, so I kept looking for jobs, looking for jobs. So there's a gig I got for about for six months. So I went back to work. Recently, actually, I was doing that that job, but this time around, when I went back to work, I felt like I think it's time for me to leave job, to leave employment, and stay at home because, of course, yeah, the maids were giving me headache and all that. So during these six months that I was working, I actually that is when I actually made up my mind and told myself, Bobby, I think it's time for you to leave employment so anything like and people can say this and that and tell your husband can tell you this can tell you this but the decision has to come from you as long as you've not made that decision yourself or you make it to it to, to please your husband you're not going to be a happy stay at home mom you need to make this decision yourself so i hope and pray that if you want to transform that I pray that your husband gives you time because usually they're the ones that put us in pressure. I pray that the husband gives you time to make the decision, decision yourself and I pray that you finally come up with that decision and be happy because I feel like it's the best decision I have made. I am happy watching my kids grow, watching them on every step of the way. But also this doesn't mean that I need to relax. Of course I'm trying to find other ways of bringing in and bringing in some money you can understand so as women we, we you know i'm trying to find out what can i do to bring in some more money as i'm doing my youtube thing so if you are going through this phase it's okay to feel bad it's okay to feel like people are going to judge you it's okay to, to have all those feelings but at the end of the day, it might take a year because of me it took me over two years to actually decide. So take all the time that you need, no pressure. I just pray that your husband don't put you on pressure because the more they put you on pressure, the more you're going to feel bad about it. So I hope you've made the decision yourself. That's what I had to share. I really hope you made because also being a stay-at-home mom is not not that bad really it's not that bad so even i got the courage i got the courage to tell people i'm not working actually i'm at a i'm a stay home mom yeah what do i do i'm a stay home mom i'm at home i'm at home and i'm fine i am not job hunting i am not jealous about people who are working i'm just fine i just found myself i just gave myself that comfort i am fine so I hope that you find it also in your heart and be happy taking care of your kids. Yeah? I hope this video is helpful. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you're going through, what you're struggling with. Maybe I can help in the comment section. Um, subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. And like, comment, and share. If you are new, I love you. See you next time. Bye. <music>